Hello, my pragmatic Helix Warriors. So I want to talk today about what I use day to day when it comes to Helix binding. So as you'll notice here, we are in VS Code, the dreaded VS Code. No, honestly, I actually like VS Code a lot. Um, don't really understand all of the hate. It's extremely fast on my system. They may be different for other people. Multi-platform, and it has a ton of extensions, which is amazing if you're a front-end engineer um, because you get things like color pickers and all kinds of other fun stuff. So um, that's why I use VS Code day to day. Now I am very interested in Zed. Might be making some videos about that. So I know that Zed is Mac OS only, but if you wanna uh, see some content about Zed, just go ahead and put it in the comments below and any questions you may have about that. But yeah, I just wanna talk real quick about the package that I'm using and also the limitations I've run into. And then maybe a little bit about the future of this space or what I'd like to see. So the first thing is that I'm using Dance Helix Alpha. I don't think this has been updated in a very long time. Yeah, it's been eh, a little over a year, it looks like, maybe like 14 months. Oh no, sorry, last released, last up. Okay, yeah, I don't know what the difference is between those two things, but in any case, I don't think it's actively maintained and it's missing a bunch of features, but it works well enough for me that I can switch between uh, VS Code and I can switch between Helix and I'm aware of some of the differences and I just kind of live with it. So let's talk about some of the limitations first off. So if you're in here and let's say you want to MA parens like that, but then you want to select that whole block. Typically I'd hit X, but watch what happens. It only selects that last line. What it should do is it should select all four of those. That's a huge one. Uh, that's like a huge limitation for the way I use it. And then there's this other one, which I haven't been able to reproduce all the time. Um, but if you, I'm trying to think of how this works because it doesn't happen all the time. But if I select three, th multiple things like this with D and then I hit I, yeah, I can't remember. There's one of them where you hit I and the cursor actually jumps to the end of the line instead of actually where you're trying to select. And I can't figure out when it actually happens. Um, so let me try one more thing. No, I don't know. There's 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 one case where it happens. The cursor just jumps and you have to basically cancel out and try it all over again. So that, that one's not so great. Kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Uh, and then it also doesn't have like jump to diagnostics. So in Helix, you can jump to diagnostics, which is great because if like, let's say I break something here and I come up, I can do like a jump to diagnostics and it will bring me back. And uh, then it's really easy. Oh my goodness. And it's really easy to find it. So that's really nice. And then the other thing is, I just remember this. Uh, I can't remember what the, what's the key binding. Okay, control I, control O. So if I like come in here and then I want to go back, it's control O, right? And that, that works as you'd expect, okay? However, it also works on page up and page down. So if I go in and then I page down, and then I wanna go back, I have to go through all of those page down operations to get back. That's something I really don't like that Helix does really well. Because if you end up hitting like, I'm trying to think of something that would be like a long one. So yeah, let's, let's go in here, we're looking around, blah, 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 looking around, trying to find stuff. Now I wanna go back. I end up having to go back through all of those page up and page down keys and that is a huge pain. So that's just something to, uh, to kind of be aware of there. Um, now, what am I looking for in the future? So what I'd really love, and I believe there's some discussion about this, but I'm a little out of the loop, is some sort of headless version of Helix where we could pipe commands into it. We could like pipe text into a buffer, right? And then pipe commands into it and then have it like return the diffs on the buffer and like the cursor position so that we could just take Helix set up as like a, in like a sidecar pattern um, and then connect it into something like VS Code and have it just manage the cursor and everything and you just pipe all the keys into it. Um, and then also the ability to load like your dot files from your you know home config. That would be really great. And then we could plug it into VS Code, we could plug it into Zed, we could plug it into potentially Xcode. That to me is like the holy grail is getting Helix bindings in Xcode. Um, and then of course other things like the IntelliJ um, the JetBrains IDEs as well. So anyway, that's what I've got going on. If you guys know of a better package, let me know. And that's what I got. Thank you very much.